those points of the value chain will handle market access, irrigation and mechanization, and the other areas are cross-cutting. We are going to rehabilitate the old research stations, the old starch and breeding centers. We will execute the project through the districts. Uh, we shall have focal points in each of the districts, as you had in my presentation. Uh, the main point may be to emphasize is that unlike other projects, we shall not accept any, any uh, shock points. We shall not accept our people, any loopholes in the execution of this project. Because uh, I think $350 million, you will agree with me, is a lot of money. This is almost 1.3, 1.4 trillion shillings. This year alone, I think that we are being given a lot of money, about, 300, about 350 billion for this project, if we declare effectiveness. To ensure that the gardens are linked to the market. So the project will, 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 will do a lot of infrastructure, will do a lot of mechanization, support to the farmers and the cooperatives and the groups, and uh, we we'll also use this project to revamp our such stations. The old such stations, Kawanda, Serere, Ngeta, Mbarara, Kachuekano, Rubona, all those. Because that's where seed comes from. If we don't build our domestic seed capacity as a country, then our food security, our nutrition security, our animal feed security will be endangered. So I'm happy to interact with these people and I emphasize it to them to ensure that they select transparently beneficiaries of these projects, of this machinery, who have demand for them. We don't want to give people machinery they can't use and we create white elephants. This time we are really tough about it.